Good morning everybody, welcome back to another video. So to begin off with, I'm going to prime my eyes as per usual. You always want to have a nice blank canvas to start off with any eyeshadow look. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot on an Eeg Show, uh, I think this is a crease brush. And I'm applying this all over the lid. It's my favourite, favourite brush to evenly disperse that product all over the lid. First things first, I'm actually going to highlight my eyelid and brow bone area. So I'm going to take this beautiful highlight from my Folklore Superstar Highlighting Quad and I'm applying this on with an Eeg Show brush as well. I can't remember what this one's called but I'll leave it linked down below. And I'm applying this actually like a soft wash of it all over the lid to give a bit of like a bit of something something because we aren't actually applying eyeshadows on the lid itself. Then I'm also highlighting my brow bone and inner corner with that as well. Next, I'm going to take my NYX Jumper Pencil in Milk and I'm using it on a lip brush from Eek Show. And basically what I'm doing is just creating a nice thick winged eyeliner, making sure to go up toward the tail of my brow so it goes up on a nice lifted angle. Then I'm also going back through the crease, just above my natural crease and connecting it to the outer corner of the winged eyeliner, as you guys can see here. I also thicken up that line a little bit going through the crease because we are applying eyeshadows over top of it. Once you've done that, we're going to go in with eyeshadow next to create that rainbow effect. So I'm going to grab my Pride palette, which is so fitting for the month of Pride Month. <laughs> I'm going in on a precise shader brush from Zoeva and packing on this lime green eyeshadow on the outer third, maybe less than a third of my winged liner. As you guys can see, I'm packing it on. And I did find it a little bit hard using this brush, keeping it in between the lines per se on the, that more thinner area through the crease. So I actually do end up switching up the brushes. But before I do that, I go in with some of Epic, which is a beautiful, beautiful foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. And it's a kind of deep foresty green. And I'm going in applying that to the very outer point of the winged liner and cut crease kind of thing. As you guys can see and just fading it together with that lime green eyeshadow the trick with the look today is blend 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 so we're always going back and forth between the eyeshadows to make sure we create a nice seamless blend as we go along as you guys can see i'm actually choosing a different brush to go in with the yellow so i'm actually using a eyeliner brush from Eeg Show and just applying that eyeshadow on first with that just to build up that color and keep between the lines i found it a lot easier and more precise I just found this brush amazing actually to apply the eyeshadow with. It was so, so good. I do go back and forth between the precise shader brush and the eyeliner brush, but the eyeliner brush was amazing to apply the eyeshadow on with. So I use a light yellow firstly to blend the yellow into the soft green, like the light green shadow. And then I take a deeper yellow from Sugar Pill. This is Butter Cupcake. And I apply that right next to that kind of softy yellow shade so that it's not just a stark yellow to a stark green it kind of fades it fades and melts into that yellow next i'm going to take these two more softer orange shades and i'm applying them on right next to that deep yellow shade to melt the yellow into that deeper orange which the deeper orange shade i'm taking next is flame point from sugar pill so i've initially placed on those lighter orange shades next to that deep yellow and then i'm going to take flame point and apply that next to those softer orange shades. I just find having a transition of colors a lot easier to blend across into those different shades of different colors rather than just going you know one green shade, one yellow shade, one orange shade and so on and so forth. Next I'm going in with this beautiful red shadow from the Pride palette and applying that next to the orange shade. As I was doing this, this color, these colors literally reminded me of like that Centrum thing. I don't know what Centrum is. I just know it's a brand and it has that kind of mix of shadows. Does it remind you of that too? I'm not sure. It's just, I, when I was doing it, I was like, oh my God, this literally reminds me of that brand logo. <laughs> anyway, back to the look. I'm taking a cool tone pink to apply next to that red. I found the pink and the red the easiest to blend across because they are similar in color I guess so I applied the pink right next to the red and of course this whole time like I've been doing I go back and forth between the colors to blend them together nice and seamlessly and there's no harsh lines as you guys can see I've actually gotten smaller and smaller with the like area in which I've applied that color because I don't want to take up too much space so 
The green's probably the one that takes up the most area on this eye look. And then as I go across towards the inner corner, the colors get smaller and smaller. So I can just fit that purple on the inner um, corner of my eye, that last little section. And I'm taking these beautiful deep purple and mixing it in with that some of that shimmery purple from the Pride palette. Just because I feel like shimmer colors blend a lot easier than mattes, in my personal experience. So I applied a little bit of shimmer just to help the blend. And I found that the pink and the purple did blend pretty well together. Um, if it doesn't blend perfectly, don't beat yourself up about it. Maybe use a lighter purple in between the pink and the deep purple just to help that blending process. But I thought it was all right. I just went back and forth a few times to really get that pink to blend into the purple. And eventually it did, so I was pretty happy with it. Alrighty, Rue, once you've got the blended effect or you know you're happy with how the colors are looking we're going to move on to the glitter liner so this is the revlon photo ready eye art in the shade topaz twinkle and i actually instead of using the applicator i found using this eag show eyeliner brush so much easier to apply the eyeshadows so the glitter liner with literally once you've done your glitter liner, I'm actually going to move on and do some little leopard spots along the winged liner part of this look. So I'm going in with my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner and I'm drawing like two little half moon shapes, not connecting them together. So they're just kind of mimicking that kind of imperfect leopard print look. And I do little dots and little squiggly lines and just to keep it a bit more random and imperfect. That's just how I feel like a cheetah or a leopard print look kind of coat looks like and basically this is how it kind of should turn out for you guys hopefully you're still with me at this step so once you've done that we're going to go in with our false lashes i use the feisty lashes from anitude i just find them so stunning they don't cover up too much of the eye look and they're longer on the outer corner so they complement our more cat eye shape that we've created for my waterline i'm actually going to take the nyx jumbo pencil and milk again um, as a base um, for the eyeshadow that I'm going to go in with. I don't have a green eye coal, so I actually used a green eyeshadow to place on my waterline, hence why I use the white eye base so that the eyeshadow shows up more pigmented. But if you guys have a green eye coal, this step would be a lot easier for you. Just apply that green eye coal to your waterline or even a green gel liner too. However, if you do have quite sensitive eyes, don't use eyeshadow. It's just going to make them really sensitive and sore. So just use an eye coal if you have sensitive eyes. Next, I'm going to start mimicking our top lid area on our bottom lash line. So I'm going in with the purple shade first and applying that to the outer corner of my eye just with a pencil brush. Then I'm going in with the pink shade next and applying that right next to it. I'm actually not blending the colors together at this point. I'm just popping them on. So as you can see, I'm going in with the red and packing that on right next to the pink. So on and so forth. Same thing with the orange, going in, placing that next to the previous color. And again with the yellow. The yellow was a bit hard, I realized, because I didn't have like a white eye coal or white eye base down before it. It was a little bit hard to show up, so I had to really work to make that yellow and even that green shade show up a little bit more. So this is something to keep in mind. It might not be as vibrant on your lower lash line as it is on that white eyeliner cut crease that we've created. If that makes sense. <laughs> Once you've placed down the eyeshadows, this is when we go in and blend it all together. So I'm going back and forth between the two colors, the green and the yellow, blending them together, then going in between the orange and the yellow, and then the red and the orange, pink and the red, pink and the purple, etc., etc. But however, when I do get to the pink, I'm actually grabbing some of that like yet yeah, pinky shade and blending it underneath all those colors to smoke them out a little bit. I just found the pink really looked pretty to smoke out all of those those rainbow colors so that's how i kind of created that soft smoky look under the bottom lash line is just with that pink eyeshadow just blending them all out but yeah next applying some bottom lash mascara and then your eye look is complete i do hope you enjoyed today's look it is my last look for pride month i have enjoyed doing these rainbow looks this year i don't think i did too many last year so i like to diversify my channel <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's look. If you don't want to use the leopard print like effect to it, then don't do that step or you don't want the glitter liner bit. Like just, you know, change the look up to how you would like to do it. 
But yeah, if you did like this look, please leave a big thumbs up. It always helps me out to know what you like to see. And if you have a specific look in mind that you would like me to create or recreate for you, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below letting me know. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for your support. I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye, guys.